Orange <laughs> Monkey Eagle. Excuse me? Um, there was a discussion that Rooster Teeth employees had once. It was like, would you, if you could have like a kill switch in your brain, basically, you just say like a certain sequence of words that otherwise you would never need to say. And they were like, Orange Monkey Eagle. And then you just die. <laughs> All right, so two wounded. Otherwise, everyone else is fine. Oh, hey, we got another sniper. Got two more snipers. Yeah. It's Come a, on, it's a sniper. <laughs> you don't need those snipers. <laughs> we really don't. You don't want to have one one sniper on a mission. There's really no point. <laughs> no, but I so. just mean it would be good to have in case the other one's you yeah. know, injured, like right now. Oh, well, yeah, that's that too. Well, both of your other snipers are injured too. <laughs> yeah, I know, but they they were injured becoming snipers. That one was injured as a sniper. There's a difference. These ones had to go through the training, you know? Also, Schultz has been promoted to assault. All right. And plus you got an assault for doing the mission, so. Mm-hmm. Additional awards. COD Modern Warfare Award. <laughs> <laughs> All right. New research available. Floater autopsy. Seeker autopsy. Five sectoid corpses. Three floater corpses. Eight weapon fragments. 20 milled. Two seeker wrecks. All right. Operation Crystal Hawk. Panic has increased in Asia. Panic has increased in Africa. Oh. We did, however, get uh, Sergeant Ludmila Ivanova. Hmm? Nice. Oh. Like name. Yeah, that's a pretty good name, actually. <laughs> Alright. Uh, barracks, you soldiers. Ludmila Ivanova. Wow, they are... <laughs> their nickname is Rhino. <laughs> they have, like... Eight plus, yeah, they've got like eight HP, so that makes sense. Abilities run and gun. Uh, aggression confers 10% critical chance per enemy in sight, or tactical sense confers defense per enemy in sight. Hmm, both of those are pretty good. Guess it's do I want to do damage or do I want to be safe? Oh, which one? Uh, um, aggression or tactical oh, sense. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah, I go back and forth on those. They're both alright. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> well, I really don't have a, like, a preference is all. Okay, let's just go for defense in case of the fact I get killed dead. Lightning reflexes forces the first reaction shot against this unit each turn to miss. Damn. Yeah, that's pretty good. Close and personal. The first standard shot made within four tiles of the target does not cost an action. I've actually never taken that one, but it sounds really good. I don't know why I've never taken it now that I hear it out loud. Basically, well, within four tiles of the target. Right. So you have to be within four tiles of the target. That's so probably that why. Could be really good. Like, I imagine you running up to an enemy, shooting them in the face because they're within four and then tiles, being and then able running to shoot away. Another... Or run away. Yeah, that's true. We could do that. Or even, like, Overwatch, something like that. Like, the Lightning Reflexes one is nice because you can kind of bait out All right, let's go Overwatch close and personal. But I kind of, yeah, that one sounds fun. Just as a just as a test, you know? Right. Yeah, I don't know why I've never taken that. Okay, close and personal it is. There we go. And uh, now it's time to customize this person. They have a great name, though, so I'm going to leave their name. And uh, I think the only thing I'm going to do is change their armor around. Give them, like, the really crazy big armor. <laughs> yeah, that seems right for an assault. And what do I give them color tone wise? That is the question. Hmm. I don't think there's anything that's like the Russian colors, so <laughs> <laughs> that is the problem right now. Hmm. Oh, that's actually pretty cool, just like all gray and some orange. Kind of like that. Hmm. And I'm so far behind in this entire uh, Mirror's Edge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just constantly so far behind. Even when you catch up, it's like, okay, well, hold on. And then immediately in front of you again. Yep. <laughs> there was one time when we fought that one guy that we were in the same time. That was, that was really was crazy, though, you. because <laughs> it was just like, all of a sudden, ah, and just like, what? Ah! 
Alright. So, there we go. Ursula Schultz. Let's see for them. And they now have run and gun. Alright, there we go. Let's, uh, let's customize Ursula Schultz. Let's make that into a person. Oh god, I'd only know, like, four women in my life. <laughs> <laughs> More than me. Excuse me? More than me? <laughs> oh, oh, that's a shame, Nick. <laughs> I mean, they're, it's they're more really, like I know I know less really, humans in life. No, so. that's true. Yeah, the, like the thing about like the female species is they're really warm and soft sometimes, and that's nice. <laughs> and sometimes they smell good. But generally speaking, I hate them all. But then again, I also hate my own species. So see, you know, that's the, the male problem species. With this. <laughs> the problem is I hate everything. <laughs> Yeah, I think, like, at one point, like, I should just start, like, naming them video game characters. Yeah. Because that would be pretty funny. Oh, man. <laughs> Some of these helmets are really bad because they're just, like, clipping through things. <laughs> oh, God, that weird, like, Street Fighter hair is still just... Just, <laughs> oh, wild. Actual madness. Actual cannibal. Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> yeah. He's a wild man. Yeah. Like, literally on the verge of being feral. You're, you're not wrong. I saw the video. <laughs> I mean, he, if he's an actual cannibal, then, like, I think maybe we need to have him, like, arrested. <laughs> that could be, like, a tiny little bit of an issue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> At some point, anyway. I'm just gonna, like... You know what? Why is this not green? Why did I not change the background color to green at this point? Uh, uh I'm not gonna redo it, but this bothers me. <laughs> really? This is totally a green area. Oh, well, like, what's up with my area? No, we're both green. Hmm. Come on! It's the sniper spot. Mm. Like inside the building. Yeah, that was like the one area you were complaining the most about. I got lost. <laughs> no, I mean like the color thing. That was a, ah, the, the yeah, place yeah, that, that took you it off. Yeah. The most. All right then. <laughs> I'm just gonna give them like this absolutely ridiculous helmet and this absolutely ridiculous set of armor. I have no idea what to name them, but I'll also leave them in like this bright yellow gear because why not? There, <laughs> there we go. Make sure the aliens can see them on the battlefield. <laughs> yeah, nothing really happened with uh, Hector Lekas here. Lekas never got a kill. It's a shame because you're a beautiful man, Lekas. Judas's liquor. I, I don't know why that just came to mind, but that just came to mind. I don't know what that means. Uh, that's what Jay Smith calls Juice's tongue. Nice. Yeah, he always sits there and he calls it Juice's liquor. Which, like, I guess it makes sense, but at the same time, come on. <laughs> like, it literally makes sense. Just no. <laughs> don't do it. Like, just don't. Alright, so I guess I should uh, research some stuff. You can do that. Oh, I can't. Because they're still researching the Arc Thrower. Okay. Oh, yeah, that thing. I forgot about the Arc Thrower. All right, well, mission control, I guess. Scan for activity. Well, all the arc throwers complete. Assign new project. Arc thrower, available to manufacture. So what does that do? Oh, it's a use item that allows you to capture aliens alive. Hmm, we might need to use that, I guess. You have to use it to complete the game. <laughs> so, there's a thing. And <laughs> also, when you capture an alien, you get their gun. Okay. That's pretty good. So, like, oh, then you just get, like, a free gun? Yes, but you still have to have the research to use it. Of course. That's the thing I was complaining about, where it's like, oh, you can't just pull the trigger. <laughs> but, and also you get um, other benefits. It depends on what. Like, you catch a muton, which is an alien you run into later on. It gives you, like, bonus research towards armor. So, like, we're, we're so on. the ones naming these things. What? We are, we are like, actually just, like, looking at this and going, that's a muton. Yeah. That's yeah. a floater. There's, there's that's a point a where man. it's, like, the soldiers have come across, or come across naming them this. And it's like, oh, so you don't <laughs> even decide this? The soldiers just decide it? <laughs> what, well, like, the thing that I really like about that, also, Nick, you're having a bit of crackle. No! Yeah. 
But uh, like right now? Yes. Fuck. You're... <laughs> but the thing I like about it is like some guy just looked at it, one of the aliens and went, "Man, that is a thin man." And then went, <laughs> "Wait, why don't we just call them that?" <laughs> but especially the fact that they called it a muton, like, come on, what is that name? <laughs> That's some 1960s Marvel monster BS. <laughs> All right, so Nick, alien materials, <laughs> experimental warfare, floater <laughs> autopsy, thin man autopsy, seeker autopsy. The autopsies are always nice. All right. Any uh, a torturous mass? Yeah, whichever. Of- Wow, a torturous mass of flesh and machinery. The mere existence of this creature <laughs> implies a cruelty that is difficult to comprehend, says the human race who has literally, like, tortured and enslaved right? people since the beginning of their creation. Come on, Dr. Vaughn, we're not that great. <laughs> <laughs> These aliens were clearly intended to be used as infiltrators, moving among us and observing without raising an alarm. Their incredible range of motion is of particular interest to our own genetic research program. They're just tall men. <laughs> <laughs> That's all they are. <laughs> like, they've They're got... Thin. It makes them very hard to hit. They, I mean, we have some of those ourselves. <laughs> I can show you Shepard. Uh, experimental warfare... Still limited, we've seen so far as enough to rather not as combat as we know it. So I'm guessing that's the thing that allows us to adapt alien guns. Um, there is no one thing. It depends oh. on the gun. Okay. Well then, I guess I'm just gonna go get like a thin man. All it does is allow you to get uh, it allows you to get armor, but it's not actual armor. It's armor that takes the place of your grenade. So, like, I don't like it very much. So I'd save that one for like when you have nothing else to do. All right. I find it pretty useless. <laughs> Concentrate effort by the aliens to modify this specimen's genetic structure. Hmm. I mean, it looks pretty human. <laughs> oh man, they're getting alien goo all over the camera. <laughs> Come on. Apparently, the thin men are like reptilian in nature. Okay. <laughs> so, this is just that whole like Illuminati reptilian aliens thing. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess I. Don't I don't know anything else I can do right now, so I'll just go and mission control it again. Okay, does the cancer trinket even do anything if I have Dr. Fetus? Or sorry, Epic Fetus? I don't know. If you have <laughs> Dr. Fetus, yes. Makes you shoot Do- bombs. Yeah, right Doctor, here. yes. Epic? Doctor, so. yes. Epic? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a line from Scrubs. Not wrong. <laughs> oh, excavation complete. Khan is back on active duty. <laughs> wait, who else was back from active duty? Uh, oh, wait. Khan is back, and now he's a sniper, so I can up him. All right. Confirm he can now headshot people. Khan! <laughs> Hello, Dragon Dildos. Still something that I am not used to saying. Uh, pretty good. I mean, we made a really ridiculous video, and now Nick is actually probably doing more work for my channel than I am. Because <laughs> I want to. I mean, it's it's a very nice gesture, and we all appreciate it. It's not nice. I just want to. I, I, it's not for you. It doesn't matter. If, <laughs> if it benefits the channel, it benefits the channel, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Also, um, look into building a foundry if you can. A I know you have to build like a. Yeah, that's a really nice thing to build. Oh, that was the wrong button to click. Build it's facilities. The, uh, yeah. Build facility. I need to put the power gen in first. All right, that thing. Begin construction. Yes. There we go. All right, well, now while I wait for that, I can just go to mission control again. Nothing else I can do. Nope. Oh, UFO contact. Over Japan. Well, I'm sure they're used to this, really. <laughs> like, don't they have some of their own robots to send? <laughs> like, this must be, like, a weekly occurrence for Japan. Scramble Interceptor, Raven 1, go! Man, it flew off at the worst angle possible. Bangs out. Oh, hey, look at that. We have, like, an aim button now, but we can't use it, I guess. <laughs> oh, wow, we took that thing out, Nick. <laughs> it shot us, hit us once, and we shot it twice, and it just blew up. 
Okay. Shot down target UFO. Surveillance indicates alien crew moving at the crash site. Oh, right, the aim thing. You have to build the aim things. Ah. Which is weird, but it would be nice to have known. Yeah, we're, we're all celebrating that we finally killed one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you do realize now there's aliens somewhere on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> we just kind of sped up their rate in which they get down here. <laughs> <laughs> like, sure, there might be more dead, but <laughs> still. Also, like, can we, like, just take the wreckage of those? Because that'd be great. Make our own UFOs. I mean, the answer to that is yes, so... Yeah, just combat their UFOs with our UFOs. Just, like, literally the plot of Independence Day. Yes. <laughs> we just need Jeff Goldblum to go in and hack them with a Mac. <laughs> hack it with a Mac. <laughs> I mean, that's basically what he did. You're not wrong. I just, I like the sentence a lot. Alright, send a Sky Ranger. You can do that. I mean, I have to do it pretty much. I don't want to just leave Japan under alien occupation. We can't keep doing that to them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we've got not necessarily the best team, but a team. Mm -hmm. We have... I mean, you can look around, switch some people out, Yeah, if you can. Well, I'm going to definitely keep the sergeant on, because, I mean, they're a sergeant. Also, let's hope they don't die. We've got Khan, of course, Khan. because yeah. sniper and Khan. And our good sniper's down, so... Yeah, and then we've got the uh, mech trooper. Because, come, come on, we got to. Also, I kind of want to send Lekas just because, like, he needs to do something with his life. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's clear that unit and add maybe somebody else in. I don't think I have anyone else I can send in that's worth it. Yeah, I don't have anyone else that I could yet. Also, Ofna Lamau. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I guess there's uh, no one else to to send in at the moment, so let's just send in uh, Ursula Schultz, I guess. Have two assault characters, why not? What could go wrong, except one of them dying? Or all of them dying. I mean, everyone dying is like a very I guess good that's possibility. what could go wrong. That's the worst case scenario, though. We're trying to focus on like the best case scenario. <laughs> what, one dying? <laughs> <laughs> Literally just that, though. This is uh, what I'm going to do first, though. I'm going to save the game, because I've actually had, like, yeah. successful stuff happen. And then we'll come back. And then we'll go to Mission Control, UFO Crash Site, Sky Ranger, Launch Mission. We're going to... So, like, this is literally just the plot of an anime now. We're sending a mech to fight aliens in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Begin assault. Uh, Operation Falling Hammer. It, looks like the UFO went down in a it went down in a densely populated area. That's... That's great. <laughs> I think maybe we should have chased that UFO a little bit more. Or used something <laughs> more potent to blow it up. I had to research the more, more uh, potent things. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so what, Dogzilla? Excuse me? Did I say anything about a dog? I don't think so. Yeah, bark bark. Um, no. I don't think so, at least I have headphones on. <laughs> I didn't hear it. No. Alright, was... it's weird, she's oddly silent right now. It, I'm telling you, that dog no longer exists, Nick. <laughs> she's not even there right now. Alright, so... This is a big area. I mean, you say that about every area, so... It, yeah, but I mean, like, this one's like an open-ish area. <laughs> oh, well, I see a metal canister, so... I guess I gotta go for that? I have to. I mean, just in my head. Who's silent? What? Oh, check and see if it's dead. They die, you know. What are you, what are you talking about? I mean, she's probably alive. <laughs> Oh, you're talking about the dog. Just being quiet. <laughs> yeah, no. Like, it's, it's a dog. Alright, so I'm going to dash my robot ahead. Oh, God. Go, robot, go. Oh, there's some aliens. Go, robot, go. go oh, robot. man, are those aliens going to freak out? Yeah, they, they have good reason to freak out, too, Nick. <laughs> I, a robot just smashed through a window. <laughs> 
Like, I'd love it if the mechs could just smash right through walls. I wish they did. <laughs> but now I know where one of them is, and I'm not too fond of that. Because I can't actually see it, which means that it's just hiding. Mm. Also, damn, can that robot move? As long as we stay out of its way. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Said that I had view on an alien? I don't have view on a single one of those aliens. Don't lie to me, video games. Don't you lie to me. Oh, the sniper has view, though. Mark. There we go. She's alive. See? She's alive. We have proof. <laughs> Fast ass based robot. <laughs> I mean, that's not untrue. <laughs> oh my god! Now it's now it's talking nonstop. Yeah, I'll let her out. I'm inside in a second. <laughs> I'll let her out. I was gonna say outside. I'm used to that. You'll let her in. That one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that phrase. Words. I see you looking through the window. <laughs> I see you looking at me, alien. <laughs> they're moving inside. They're like, they're coming after us. We're going to come after them. Oh, man. Is he going to take that shot? Oh, man. They took that shot. I can uh, lean forward slightly and just see my dog looking at me through the window. Like Now this bitch, building is just on fire. <laughs> uh, it's a 50-50 shot, basically, on any of these aliens. Guppy. Yes, I realize I have epic, epic feet. It's they do anything, but... Bang! Bang! Come on! Oh! <laughs> Get wrecked! <laughs> yeah, you do that. All right, let's move this robot up here. Let's overwatch them. Let's run Schultz up here. They'll get there without getting shot, right? I hope. They get shot. Oh, well. Okay, perfect. Good. I where the other meld is. I don't know. I don't care. Let's just shoot these aliens. It's our shot. 45, not great. better than nothing. I have an over. What about you? That is a terrible shot. Just awful. That is a much better shot. Okay, take the shot. Missed every here? shot. Nope. I guess that's not... <laughs> no. <laughs> the, uh... The what's it called? The, uh... Sniper managed to dome one right away. So that was nice. You know? Snipers, Hopi. Oh man. Come on, you're you're kidding me. What's it doing? Oh, it's running away. I didn't know that they would do that. They do that sometimes. I this is evident now. <laughs> Alright, well we collected that meld. Well, they ran away, so I'm just gonna march this robot out to this door and just have this robot stand outside this door. Worst case scenario, the robot just gets really, really damaged, and I hate myself. Wow. Mm. There's only, like, one alien. Not going to do that much. Yeah, I I, op I go in there, and there's no alien. He ran really far. He ran... Ran so far away. Yeah, I was just about to make that. <laughs> Couldn't get away, though. Oh, well, we hope. What if he just ran off the map? <laughs> it's like, no, wait, never mind. <laughs> you know, I'm not built for this life. I'm going to go become Roger from... American Dad. <laughs> That's the origin of uh, of that alien. <laughs> also, like I keep trying to get um, what's his name, Lekas or whatever, Hector Lekas to have a kill. This dude's just running on the bar. He did not give a crap. <laughs> that was a astounding run. I can't wait to see this. Oh god, you're right. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> you're right?
Alien activity. Can I? I just heard glass break. <laughs> so I think an alien just like broke the glass somewhere. I imagine it sneaking away and just like knocking over a vase. And he's just like, oh shit. <laughs> that wasn't the plan. God damn it, Harold. <laughs> Harold the alien. <laughs> Howard the duck. I like Howard the duck. It's a wild time, Nick. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. It's really good. That's really weird. It's not telling me that it's dashing for this character to go anywhere anymore, and that's really confusing and awkward to me. <laughs> Man, no one can actually move to this door. That is d freaking disgusting. Okay. Move to that window. Overwatch. I have no idea. Ooh, that sexy voice. Ugh. Please do not ever insinuate that I have a erotic tone. Yeah, he doesn't like that. I don't like it either. So mysterious. Now that's Charlie. Yeah, I don't even know where he is, so. Really? Charlie? Yeah. Uh, that's, does that matter? Not really. The robot just, like, knocked down a door. Because, like, why not? I'm just, I'm going up at this point. You know, like, northeast. Because I have no idea where this alien is. You can do that. Aren't you fighting like a downed alien ship right now? Yeah, I'm not sure where to go. So that's a, yeah, you'll find the ship itself somewhere. Really? Mm -hmm. it, would it be where everything is on fire? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> well, like I mean, there's just like trucks and stuff. So I'm also assuming the aliens probably cause some problems. I'm gonna assume that this is probably where they're going. Can you not hear out freedom works? Bang bang. No, see my bang bang this is, over. is aliens. No, his bang bang is over because that was a few days ago. Yeah, I'm Although, Canadian. Here, yeah, I hear it. Why did it need to give that man a cutscene for kicking a door? I will never know. <laughs> I just appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, no, like we we still hear him occasionally, but usually it's oh, like God, there's I, so many rats. It's usually oh, like, I forgot I had fireworks, so here's some extra fireworks type of thing. You know? Yeah. One's awesome yesterday. Alien activity. That's pretty boring. Oh. That's where I heard the nine-year-old singing, uh, Get Out the Way, oh, Bitch. Oh, 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 oh. There he is. He is. <laughs> oh, God damn it! He just ran away further into the fog of war. <laughs> I hate you, alien. You're a complete and total prick. I'll have you know that. He knows. That's the whole point. Also, just saying, good to see you, Tail Press. It's been a while. You've missed every single instance where somebody has followed and used your noise to scare the hell out of me. <laughs> Noid, do you not like me or do you not know how to take me? Because I'm a pretty, wild, a pretty weird dude. I know you're a weird dude. You made me a noise that goes, Noid. <laughs> Really good. <laughs> it's a really good noise. Also, you know I like you because you made that, but not just because you made that. <laughs> you made me think, so yeah. I mean, come on, that's, that's it helps. That, that's the thing that took like a little while to modify. Mm -hmm. You had to you had to cut off the the droid part, and then you had to like put in the N noise, and then you had to make it all sound right. That's a that's a hassle and a half. That's like a that's a Apple. David that's a At David Apple. Hasselhoff. David Hassel half. You can go both ways, I guess. You can go both ways, I guess. <laughs> wow, Nick. I don't know, maybe. I don't know, man. Moving. Longer than expected. Yeah. Longer than anticipated. Whoa. Okay. She does not have much of a sight on this alien, but I'm hoping that, you know, the RNG gods allow this shot to hit. Bang bang. Bang bang. Missed. Mm. And it looks like the alien laughed at me. <laughs> okay, well let's just overwatch and hope for the best there. What about this sniper? Let's move him here. Can I get a shot? 
I do not have a shot despite the alien being in view, which makes me severely disappointed. Come on, alien scum. I don't know, I enjoy it here when our schedule will link up. Yeah, no, it's a nice place to be. Except for when it's like a terrible place to be. That mm -hmm, said, mm -hmm. you, uh... That is a terrible place to be. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, that just goes without saying. That said, you did miss, like... Uh, I oh, hate no. being old and having responsibility. I mean, we all have responsibility. Um, who are you talking to? I mean, you have some responsibilities. I have no responsibility. I uh, love it. Alright, Nick. <laughs> don't, don't lie. I will. I'm going to be moving soon. Then I'll have responsibility. Not right now. Even then, though, your responsibility is not going to be too terrible. No. Then it's just going to be get a job, pay some bills, my house and everything's already going to be figured it's out. It's basically so. just going to be, hey, so, oh, oh, Overwatch? Yeah? Oh. Nope. Cool. Nope, everybody just missed. Good job. What is this? Metroid <laughs> Sims. No. That's a... I really like that term, though. Oh, dang. There's a... Uh, moving to Texas. Nick, I have to go ah. overwatch everybody now. They brought Seekers with them. Ah. Oh, yeah. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm really, really happy about that one. <laughs> Wait, can I shoot that alien? There's a 55% chance I can shoot that alien with the sniper. Do it up. Oh, he domed that alien so hard. <laughs> I like that. He said, come to Texas. And I said, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, why, you guys should just become like J. Smith when J. Smith moved in with against Clint. <laughs> Which part? I moved to Houston. I'm pretty sure you're in Austin. I feel like we had this conversation once before. Yeah, just become his J. Smith. and I can be anybody's J. Smith. I'll be your J. Smith if you really want me to. <laughs> I wouldn't, actually. I'd be somebody's <laughs> NL. Yeah, just I, I actually like told Rachel, I'm like, if I start dating somebody, like they need to understand that like nine times out of ten, I'm going to be like, I'm streaming tonight. <laughs> or something like that. Like they, they're, Houston. Yes, Houston. They are free to join me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not choosing to move there. My sister lives there, and that's where I'm moving. I would, if I were to move where I wanted to move, it'd either be Sandy, San Antonio, yeah, not San San Diego. Antonio. <laughs> San Antonio, Sandy Tony, or um. Oh, that's Austin. a different thing entirely. <laughs> Live in Dallas. Fifty. Well, five hundred MBS. Five hundred. Wow, that's what? crazy. How is that a thing? How is that possible? Like, are you a business? <laughs> yeah, really. That's like business class. I mean, like, I don't know what's going on with my internet, but it's been over 100, so that's that's even wild to me. <laughs> also, yeah, we just wrecked a seeker. What a nerd. <laughs> I'm guessing this is the direction of the alien ship. Or what's left of the alien ship. Mm-hmm. <laughs> San Antonio, you'd be the only white non-religious person there. <laughs> he I is, was there once. There was not. a really cool like uh, boardwalk. He is walk. not at all. No, you can assume that pretty easily. That's fine. I assume that about people too. Usually, you can kind of tell. Porn walk. Porn walk. Why is that not a thing? <laughs> when will that be a thing? That's more like it. They're always don't ahead like, of the technology. Like, I kind of don't like the idea of moving to Texas, but I just like the idea of being out of home. No, but see, the, the brilliant there. thing of it, well, you know what you can also do? You can always just go and hassle uh, JoJo, my previous artist. Mm. She lives down there, and uh, she paid like $3,000 for a gaming computer that's worse than the one I have, so that's hilarious. <laughs> nice. Yeah, quality. So, I know there's another seeker out there somewhere, but I don't know where it is. I'm terrified. Mm. Keep overwatching, I guess. I just I want yeah, I want to move. Texas is hot. I don't like it. I'm from Michigan, okay? That's Texas not okay. Texas is hot. It is. It's hot. Overwatch. People who haven't lived down here don't know I love it. No, like you don't understand. There's so much bad though. I hate the heat though. And plus, yeah. If you look at like politically, you're pretty shit. So <laughs> <laughs> Like, I mean, Texas is the one place right now that's not giving people marriage licenses. And they're, yeah. and they're saying, well, it's because it's, like, religious freedom. And it's like, we, we have the right to refuse you 
you know, marriage licenses, and I'm like, that's not how it works. I hate to tell you. I love to tell him. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> you you really do love to tell him. <laughs> that ship has a very big holographic shield going on. Did that chest just look at me and looking? It chest is looking at me with its tongues. It's using. I mean, it wouldn't matter if I was here or not. It affects me. Okay, that's like looking at it the other way around. Of like, you don't want gamers because it doesn't affect you. It's like that's you want the gamers wrong because way, it doesn't affect you. That's the wrong way to look at it entirely. <laughs> it might not directly affect me, but it's just fucked up still. Yeah, but also like, even if you go, oh well, are you gay? No. Well, then it doesn't affect you. That's still not the right attitude. Anyway, yeah, it's still not. Because you should want progression. It's Personally, just I don't care whether or not they do or don't. Yeah, but that's the thing. You don't care because it doesn't affect you. At the same time, back in the 1950s, it didn't matter to white people whether or not black people could use a bathroom <laughs> that was, you know, sanitized and nice. But it mattered to the black people, which was what mattered. Because there was a group of people being denied basic human rights. <laughs> There's a, when, it, there's a, when it comes to the I don't care whether or not they do or don't, in that case, just let them do it because it's going to make them happy. It clearly doesn't affect you at all, so why deny the right? The only people that's pissing off are assholes anyway. Yeah, see, so. well, like, that's the thing. The argument of, oh, well, I'm not going to lose sleep. That's the bad uh, argument because, I mean, it doesn't affect me directly, but, like, at the same time, what if I choose to be with a guy because of the fact that I don't have the, you know, I'm going to say luxury of the ability to see attractiveness. Oh, shit. Oh, god damn it. Because of the fact that I don't see attractiveness, I go off of personality. That said, every guy I've met is terrible. <laughs> I love saying that to guys because they're like, what? No, I'm not. And I'm like, no, I agree with women. We're all terrible. We're all genuinely awful matches. I mean, the whole human race is terrible to me, so. I mean, women are too, but I mean, it's just that women say that whole, like, oh, guys are awful thing. It's true. <laughs> Even me. Especially me. They're all terrible. Especially the neckbeards. They're, all, they're both terrible. You're human, you're terrible. I'm not saying you're against them, I'm just saying if you're not for them, then that's not helping them. Pretty much. Oh, piss. That- Oh, shit. oh no, what are you? Why- Nick, there's a big robot man. There's a big robot man. They have a big robot man. Oh, they have one too. If you can, punch it in the face. I'm scared. It's a really cool cutscene. It's not, oh, no, it, that's not the big robot man. Never mind. No, that's... It's like... I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's a big energy being... That's... That thing is not made of energy. More or less. They hate the... Yeah, but Pride Parade is stupid. Hating Pride has nothing to do with not supporting the gay community. Yeah. <laughs> Pride is a thing for, you know, white gay dudes. I mean, I would never go through pride things because parades. Why? Guys are wonderful. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Rachel, you have a very biased opinion, though. Plus, you missed the point. I wasn't saying I'm terrible. I'm saying all people are terrible. Yeah. Yes, that applies me, too, but... We're not saying we're not. We're saying everyone is. Yeah. Oh, you noticed my robot. <laughs> he missed What's that every... giant mech he, over there? He missed every shot of my robot. To withstand an impact like that at such a velocity. <laughs> it's it's a weird robot. That guy just sounded like Kronk. Nice. That's not something I like. Why Kronk's voice is awesome? Eh. Kronk has a good voice. Let me talk about. Let's get a shot in on him. And she missed. Okay. Well, good enough. <laughs> We tried. <laughs> you missed. Good enough. <laughs> Here's your cake. Well, I mean, it was a we tried moment. <laughs> Just want to live in a place where I can be left alone. Well, yeah, that's everyone's dream. <laughs> but like, you know, welcome to the United States where you're never left alone. You're always being watched in your country. By yeah, some, by somebody. Yeah, it was a group was really good. So was TV show. Not as good, but... TV, I actually preferred the television show only because it had longevity to it. Okay. Whereas I felt that the movie was like a one and done type of thing. And like that's fine sometimes. But I also just felt like when it ended, nothing had really been accomplished. <laughs> you know what I mean? All it changes, he's a slightly better person. Yeah, and like that's That's what it was fine. all about. Yeah. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Missed. 
I knew it would miss, but still. Had to show it for kids back when I was doing AV shit in the city space. I did it. I did it on. I'm gonna say that that's shrooms. I was laughing too loud and drew attention to myself. <laughs> yeah, you should also probably not be working with kids when you're on shrooms. Nah. Just a yeah, you know, like basic idea of that. Nah. Hmm. I wish I could run up to that guy and punch him in the face. Let's move the mech closer so that way maybe I can shoot this dude in the face. Oh, he's gonna get like a point blank range on me. He missed every shot again. This is by far the worst alien I've ever seen. Well, don't forget the whole mech thing. Clo enemies close to him get the minus 10. Or yeah, minus I know, but he game. also missed it like way earlier too. So it was kind of like, congrats, you suck. <laughs> that minus uh, 20 aim is a lot. Yeah, now he's used up his... Uh, now he's used up his chance more or less to shoot him too, so... I'm gonna run other people in and try and shoot him. Yeah, just you know, get an assault and just run a gun up there. I could do that, but I didn't do that. It would 100% kill, so why not? Uh, mostly because I just didn't, you know, realize it. Also, mm -hmm. does running gun do dash distance? Yeah, that's all point. It allows you to dash and still shoot. All right, that's it's perfect. Is this guy gonna blow up when I shoot him? No. Okay. Just worried because he is glowing. Yeah, that's odd. There, there are a few enemies, so you should probably ask that for like everything. Oh man, he's gonna get wrecked, son. I was gonna punch you, but I mean, a shotgun to the face is also good. <laughs> oh! He flew up into the air. <laughs> he, yeah, he the tried to return to his home really planet. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> also, the fact that like. A, a spaceship went down in Japan and a small energy based robot was what was left is <laughs> just perfect. Everything about that was perfect. Leka still did not do anything.